Our spotlight story tonight is about an old-fashioned harvest festival in Quincy that showed visitors what it was like to live in the area more than 100 years ago. Reporter Cameron Probert has the story. Hundreds of people got the chance to experience pioneer life at Quincy's Ryman Simmons House on Saturday. The city's museum held its 12th annual Harvest Fest. Participants had a chance to churn butter, press cider, use a washing board, along with experiencing other facets of pioneer life. Harry Weber with the Quincy Valley Historical Society said the event is designed so people can come and see what life was like in 1904 when the house was built. Uh, we had the idea visiting places like Sturbridge Village in Williamsburg on the East Coast. Could we do something with our small little all-volunteer historical society to allow people to experience life as a pioneer and do as many hands-on activities and fun things as we could think of and make happen, all with volunteers. The historical society collected the items used in the demonstration over the course of several years. They researched what was necessary for each of the stations and began looking for the items in antique stores or through donations. They also had to research how each of the tasks was performed. Well, of course, the internet is a big <clears throat> help now, but you, when we started, we didn't have the internet as much. And, you know, we would read diary accounts of pioneers and, um, and then you talk to people who maybe were children. Even back in the 30s and 40s, a lot of these same skills were being used here, even some in the 50s. So you, you glean information from folks and books and, and as best you can, then we, we write out information and scripts for the people who are willing to man the stations and that's how we do it. Weber said the turnout for the event was good and drew both young and old. There's not very many activities where everybody can enjoy themselves anymore. And so this is an event where multi-generations can come together and have a good time. Weber said it's important for children to understand what it took to settle the area. Two days before the festival, third graders from Quincy Schools came to the museum for a field trip. After they have lesson plans in their classrooms and all kinds of things, hands-on teacher trunks, then they come here and get to participate in a lot of the hands-on stations. And we do that so that these children will grow up with appreciation for the heritage of this town and what it took to make this town, and that they'll feel a sense of pride in it. Mandy Otley was one of the people putting on demonstrations during the event. She showed people how to operate a sewing machine built in the early 1900s. I've got several um, little children that have been just adorable watching how this works. For iFiber One News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. Thank you, Cameron. We will be right back after this.